Hi, I'm Dr. David Hill and today we're going to talk about treating asthma exacerbations that are due to a cold. Now for a lot of people who have asthma, they only have symptoms when they get a viral upper respiratory infection, what we would call a cold. Uh, some people may have symptoms also if they exercise or at night when they sleep or if they run around and get in the cold air or exposed to a dog or a cat or cigarette smoke or some other allergen. These people often know they have asthma. But the people who only get asthma symptoms with a cold sometimes don't even stop to think, hmm, maybe this is asthma. The bottom line is wheezing is never really considered normal, nor is shortness of breath difficulty feeling like you can get enough air. So if you see or experience those things, you really need to be thinking about asthma, even if they only occur in the setting of cold symptoms. Now, what do you need to do? Unfortunately, there are really no decent asthma therapies that do not involve prescription medications. In fact, failing to treat asthma in a timely fashion is a major cause of death in the United States today. So if you notice wheezing, shortness of breath, coughing in the middle of the night, coughing with exercise, those symptoms always deserve attention from a doctor. The doctor should be able to listen to the chest, get a sense of the symptoms, and determine whether or not asthma is actually present. When asthma is present, there are different kinds of medicines for addressing it. One just helps with the symptoms. That's albuterol or Zopinex. Now these go by a variety of brand names. Zopinex is the only brand for leave albuterol. Albuterol may come as Proair, Provental, there's a few others. But the most important thing to know is that while these medicines make the asthmatic patient feel better by opening up the air tubes and the lungs temporarily, they don't cure the asthma. They're like giving aspirin to somebody with a brain tumor. They may help the headache, but you haven't fixed the brain tumor. To really fix the asthma requires corticosteroids. When somebody is having an acute asthma exacerbation, such as with a cold, usually those steroids have to be given either by mouth or as an injection. Usually mouth is a lot easier. Normally the steroid coice is about five days, but in some particularly sick patients, they need to take them longer for seven days or even a longer steroid taper depending on how rapidly they're responding. The steroids are really the only thing that are gonna keep patients out of the hospital and out of the intensive care unit with an asthma exacerbation. So, even though it's unpleasant to think about having to take steroids, remember, if you're having a significant asthma exacerbation, even if it only happens with a cold, you or your child, if that's who's affected, probably do need steroids. Second of all, remember that even though it may only occur when you have a cold, if you've got shortness of breath, wheezing, or difficulty getting enough air, that's never normal. Please seek care. Talking about relieving the symptoms of asthma occurring with a cold, I'm Dr. David Hill.